Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here how to solve these nice functional equations where we have n multiplied by f of n plus 1 plus f of 2n plus 3 equals n squared. And what is f of 15? So in this video, I'm going to be applying two different methods. And if you have another method of solving this, we can drop it in the comment box so that we learn together. So let's start with solution. N here is a member of real number. So given that N multiplied by F of N plus 1 plus F of 2N plus 3 equals n squared for the first method so i'm going to be inserting some values so that we later reach f of 15. so that works for this method and i think that is general for solving this kind of method suppose i assume from if you have at n equals zero for instance so anywhere we see n we change it to zero so for this, when we apply n here, every other values we have here become 0. So even with f of 1. So 0 multiply it, they become 0. While for this one, we are going to have it as f of 2 bracket 0 plus 3 equals 0 squared. Then 2 times 0, that is 0. And the 0 plus 3, we get f of 3 equals 0 squared that is 0 so we have gotten f of 3 equals to 0 then i want to reapply this f of 3 and to reapply it i'm going to let my n here to be equals to so if n equals to applying the same formula we are going to have 2 multiplied by f of 2 plus 1 plus f of 2 times 2 plus 3 equals 2 squared. So here we have 2 multiplied by f of 2 plus 1, that is 3, plus f of 2 times 2, that is 4, and 4 plus 3, that gives us 7, equals 4. So 2 squared equals 4. But our f of 3, it equals 0. So when to multiply 0, everything here becomes 0. And uh, we only have f of 7 equals 4. Again, I need to get f of 15. So we still have f of 7 here. Next, I'm going to let my n here to be equal 6. Because letting n equals 6, we are going to get f of 7. Then we will use f of 7 as 4. So applying same format as the formula given above, n here is now 6. That is, we are going to have 6 multiplied by f of 6 plus 1 plus f of 2 times 6. That is, 12 plus 3 equals 6 squared and here comes what we find we are finding f of 15 and 12 plus 3 equals 15 here we have 6 multiplied by this gives us f of 7 as f of 7 here equals 4 this is 6 multiplied by 4 plus f of 12 plus 3 this gives us 15 equals 6 squared, that is 36. And 6 times 20, 6 times 4, that gives us 24. Then plus f of 15 equals 36. By subtracting 24 from both sides, we are going to have f of 15 equals 36 minus 24. And this gives us 12. That is, f of 15, the answer is 12. So this is how to solve this with this step-by-step -step method of solving this functional equation to obtain f of 15. 
and let's see the second method of solving this though this method is not general to every kind of problem like this but it works for this so let's see how it goes all right how to apply the second method to solve this same problem we are given f of n plus 1 and f of 2 n plus 3. Let's assume a linear function here. Suppose I assume that if we have f of n to be equals a linear function, let's say a n plus b. So n is a member of real number, right? And from here, if I change n to n plus 1, Suppose I change n to n plus 1 as one of the functions given. We are going to have this one becomes f of n plus 1, which is equal to uh, a into bracket of n plus 1 plus b. Then, expanding this one out, we are going to have a n plus a plus b. And at the back of this, we have n multiplying f of n plus 1. So we multiply this one by n, that is n of f of n plus 1. So this gives us, when we multiply this one by n, we are going to have, uh, we are going to have, this becomes a n squared plus, this is a n and uh, this is b n. But let's take out n and have this as a plus b. And again, we need to find f of 2n plus 3 applying the same thing. We have f of 2n plus 3 equals a into bracket of 2n plus 3 then uh, plus b. By expanding this also, we have a times 2n, that is 2an, plus a times 3, that is 3a, plus here is b. So after we have gotten this as well, we have to add the two together. By adding this, we are going to have an squared plus n into bracket of a plus b plus 2an plus 3a plus b and everything equals n squared then we have to do comparison here we have n this is also n by taking this together we have a n squared plus so since this is okay let's take this as out uh, as this here we have n a plus also we have n b plus we have this as 2 a n plus 3 a plus b equals n squared here we have n a and this is 2 a n when we add this together we have a n squared plus 3 a n plus also we have this as uh, b so here we have n n b and uh, we have plus 3 a plus b equals n squared so we have to compare now here we have n squared this is n squared the coefficient of this one equals to one therefore our a here equals one and also, there is nothing like n here. There is nothing here as well. We consider it equals 0. But we need this one the most. So we are going to have 3a plus b equals 0. And since our a here equals to 1, therefore, we are going to have b to be equals minus 3. So and if b equals to minus 3, we come back to the formula and uh, we substitute again. So when we substitute these two values, we are going to have f of n equals a is 1, that is n minus b is 3. Then we need f of 15. By changing n here to 15, we are going to have this as 
15 minus 3 and 15 minus 3 equals 12. So we got this using the second method and the first method as the same. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.